Mr. Curtis, are there programs that can be used to secretly fix elections? Yes. How do you know that to be the case? Because in October of 2000, I wrote a prototype for President Congressman Tom Feeney at the company I worked for in Oviedo, Florida, that did just that. And would that program that you designed be something that elections officials could detect? They'd never see it. And your testimony is under oath? Yes, sir. And the testimony you've given is true? Yes, sir. Thank you. In 2000, I was working for Yang Enterprises, which was a company in Oviedo, Florida, and their, um, their chief lobbyist, their corporate attorney, and Speaker of the House of Florida was Tom Feeney. Tom Feeney was the general counsel and registered lobbyist for Yang Enterprises, even while he was Speaker of the Florida House. He came in one day, my, one of my first introductions to him, and he wanted us to build a vote flipping software. He was asked by Tom Feeney to create essentially a vote rigging software prototype. My interpretation initially was that he wanted to prevent you evil Democrats, because I was a Republican, from cheating. So we know how bad you are. So <laughs> he's a Republican, I'm a Republican, which, you know, immediately makes him the good guy right away. So obviously he's not gonna try and you know steal votes. He wanted to run on a Windows platform, be touchscreen capable. He wanted it to not have any additional hardware, so you didn't have to bring in a keyboard, you didn't have to sit across the street in a truck. You could just sit there and punch a button and the votes all flip. And the third thing he wanted was that he wanted so that in the source code, you could not see the fact that it was being flipped. Well, not only is you shouldn't be doing that, but you can't do that. You cannot hide in the source code. Done deal. I can't do it. Nobody else can either. Tom Feeney is best known for being the guy in the 2000 election. Uh, no matter what the Supreme Court decided, he was going to assure that the electoral votes went to George W. Bush. He had previously, in 1994, been the running mate to Jeb Bush in Jeb's initial bid for governor in Florida, which he lost. So I built it for him, gave it to Mrs. Yang along with the sheet on how you prevent vote fraud. She said, you don't understand. In order to get this contract, we have to hide the vote fraud in the source code. This is to flip the vote in South Florida. Which, you know, I'm thinking. What are you, a crook? We can only assume that that's what Feeney told her. For some reason, that's what she felt, that's what she knew, and that's what she told Clint Curtis. And that's what he has in his sworn affidavit. You know, he had all sort of, a lot of political theory about, you know, you don't have to actually beat the Democrats in the Democratic area, you just have to reduce the margin enough so overall, it weakens it, and you win that way, and it's, he's just a wild man. I mean, he was willing to do anything to win. And I'm thinking, well, these people are crooked, but they're probably crazy. No one's going to sit by and let them do this anyway. You know, they tried to bribe me to come back to them. Eventually, it got up to, you know, a million dollars. They'll give me a million dollars to come back. Then it was a million dollars to just leave Tallahassee, and Feeney will get me a job anywhere I want to work. Anywhere. Name the price, name the location, you're there. Now that you've got your vote and you want to flip it, you hit the R, hit the S, and it flips. Bush wins. That simple. That simple. 24 lines of code, you never see it. Kind of felt responsible, like I wrote a blueprint for him. Not that I'm the only one in the world who could do that, you know. Any baby programmer would know how to do that. It is super easy. It takes nothing. It's just some hidden buttons on a screen. You hit the little hidden buttons. It gives 51% to the guy you want to win, gives the other 49. So it doesn't matter how you vote, the machine votes for you. So in other words, there is absolutely no assurance whatsoever 
on anything with regard to these machines? Absolutely none, unless you look at the source code and make sure it's safe before it goes in. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman Mathers. Uh, I know that Congresswoman Waters has Clint Curtis announced that he was going to run against Tom Feeney for that U.S. House seat. He changed his party affiliation from Republican to Democrat. One of the reasons I switched is because all those Republican values of balanced budget and personal privacy, the Republicans have just discarded that. He did extraordinarily well for a first-time politician. We'll actually compare our vote totals to the vote totals that came in precinct by precinct. We'll find out if any flip occurred and we'll validate. He and his campaign have, since the election, been going door to door, getting affidavits from voters, how they voted in the election. If we can find several precincts where we have more voters who said they voted for me than the votes show, that puts into question not only my totals, but the whole election. In some of these areas, he's finding 20% swings against him. And he's got the affidavits from voters to prove it. I grew up thinking you're supposed to do the right thing. And that's what I do. I'll do it until someone makes it so I can't. <laughs>